Well, I'll give you, I'll give you a, a small piece of uh, friendly advice. Uh, never, never disconnect the battery when the engine's running. On not on this car. I don't know about other cars, but I can tell you on this car, that'll cook the electronic control module at least part of it. And never, never connect the battery or disconnect the battery with the key in the on position. Uh, it's pretty sensitive electronically. So, just a head, just a friendly heads up. You make sure the uh, make sure the engine is at operating temperature, and then you also want to be sure that you've got a good charge on your battery. Uh, in order to to, uh, to check the resistance in, in both of the fuel injectors, uh, you don't need the key on or the battery connector or anything. You're just checking resistance in the coils and the sol and the solenoids so that's a good place to start if you have problems because the uh, the car uh, one of the things about the one of the things about the 1984 Corvette the entire fuel delivery system is electrical so it's really important I try to keep I try to keep it at 12.6, 12.6. The battery charge at 12.6, and I try to make sure that my alternator is charging. I'm putting out a good, good, nice. Uh, I try to make sure my alternator is put, putting out a really good charge. should be seeing a resistance of 1.4 or more. Anything less than 1.4 is their injectors are no good, but just set the set the multimeter to ohm the, to the ohm setting, just hook up one lead to one one lead to the one of the terminals of the fuel injector and then the other lead to the other terminal of the fuel injector. And really the key for this test isn't it's more important that both fuel injectors have the have equal resistance like if one has 1.5 the other one should have 1.5 and of course then the other thing to look at on the fuel injectors to see if you're you've got a good cone shaped spray pattern when the when the fuel injectors are, are spraying out you know it's not that hard to spot but these are these have a little rubber boot on the bottom of them. You know, just be careful if these are the original uh, t uh, connectors for the fuel injectors. But uh, you just pinch pinch these together, and they come right off, and you, they just pop right down on top of there. You can hear them pop on there, and then you just pinch them together, pull them off gently. <laughs> And then just, like I say, they just pretty much just pop right back down on top of there. But yeah, the the important thing on the Ohm's test, they're they're just a solenoid with a coil in them, is is to make sure the resistance on on both injectors is identical. Otherwise, that's where you run into problems with uh, rough idle, unstable idle. But the whole car is electrical, so a lot of people look at fuel. But I mean, if you have if you have uh, 12 psi in your crossover tube between your two throttle bodies, and you got a nice spray pattern on your your fuel injectors, a nice cone-shaped spray pattern, that's pretty easy to see. The rest of it is going to be electrical. You know, make sure when you put this base on there you don't pinch these wires that's like really really a problem with these things so